Hello, um, social media, good afternoon. I am Blacks. I'm the lead singer of the All Stars. And um, without anything going wrong on um, social media, which is um, what I said yesterday, and yes, I did say it. And um, I want to apologize to the officers that were on um, duty. They were very displeased about it. And um, a lot of people want to know why. Because if you know me, I am a man that stalk my mind. You understand? I stalk my mind. I do interfere in people's personal life. I do interfere in people's sexual business. I do interfere in people's money. I do nothing nobody have bothers me. You know, but um, this whole scenario stemmed from Jamaica. Something happened in Jamaica that I could not have get off my system. Just could not have get off my system. To see the biggest man in Soka, the biggest man, the PDD in Soka, Marshall Montano, a guy I really respect, really love his music. You see that individual stand up on stage in Jamaica with a whole host of artists backstage and say that Jamaica Carnival is better than Trinidad. It could not come out of my system, Jen. I just, you know, um, I decided that morning self. Um, what is the name of the party? But I think it's one of the biggest parties in Jamaica. You know, blessed for being there. I decided that morning self to go and tell him, boy, but how you could say that? But a couple, couple members of my team that were there with me said, Blacks, leave that alone. I, I try leaving it alone, you know. I really try leaving it alone, but it can't come out of my system. You know what I mean? Soka is what mind me. Soka feed my family, make me live pretty good. The people pay to see me. You understand? I will defend Soka all. So that little outburst, which I want to apologize for, you know, um, yesterday stemmed from something that have been bothering me for quite a while. Now, I ain't lost much respect for Marshall. I just hurt, you know. I just, I just hurt. I was really hurt by that statement, you know. No disrespect, no, you know. I still love you, but as the man in charge of this thing, I just say, come what way may, you in charge, and we have to defend what is ours. We must defend it. I will defend Soka Monarch. I will defend Marsh Gra. I will defend Chutney Soka Monarch. I will de defend Panorama. I will defend Kess Tuesday. And I will defend Marshall Monday. Because these things are signature shows in our carnival. If we lose these things, we, you know what I mean? Things are looking good. So it was, it was really hurtful. You know, I want to go into no details. I, I not know no bacchanal. And it was really hurtful. It was something that. I just could not keep no more. So when we reach point, and the promoter say, boy, we get hurt this year with Marshall. And you know, uh, you know when I reach on stage, I, you know, my statement was, Marshall can't hurt morning neighbor. He got to do what he got to do. You got to do what you got to do. This is a local show. And you know, this is your show. and. The rest Marshall, everybody thinking about. You understand? So, that's about the, the bottom line. I'm not targeting nobody or going at nobody. I'm never on that. I'm never that type of individual. But to hear Marshall Montano, a brother I kind of grew up with in Separia, will stand up on stage and say, one of the biggest show in Jamaica, Soka show in Jamaica, Carnival show in Jamaica, a Jamaica Carnival. It's better than Trinidad only. Yo, I don't even want to go into details, right? But there's certain aspect of Jamaica Carnival that is beautiful. The fusion with the soca and the dance hall, the, the, you know, the maturity, a lot of mature people that play mass, 
the hospitality towards artists, a lot of things I could say about Jamaica Carnival. But I don't believe no Jamaican will stand up on stage in Trinidad and, and make that kind of statement. I definitely, watch me, I just tell people, the love and the passion I have for soca, 90% of the soca artists don't have it. You know. I'm an advocate for soca. You know. I will lose a toe for soca. I will lose a finger for soca. You understand? That's how serious I is about it. If mine all my kids, you know, grow my children and them proper, they went to good school. So can't give me that. And to hear Marshall McMahon make that statement, it just could not come out of my state, my system. And yesterday was a kind of outburst. I take to Johnny, sorry, a outburst. I apologize again to, again to the officers that was there and the, and the senior officers that was there. You know, I said it twice. You know, so <coughs> that's just the bottom line about it. I don't be a nobody. I don't diss nothing. I don't. I just more try to support, teach, and learn. But that is something that you know could not come out of my system, right? So I hope people understand why it happened, where it stemmed from, and I hope the individual that you know is Marshall Montana will understand how I felt that morning when he made that statement. I think it out now. It out my system now. So, you know, we good to go. Love and respect to everybody. Thanks for the support of the music this year. Thanks for the support of the All-Stars. You know, just love and respect, right? I apologize again for the little experience now, right? Sorry. Peace out from Lux and the All-Stars. <laughs>